What's going on guys? My name's Aaron. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have a good tutorial for you guys and what it's going to be about is unlocking the built-in web browser in your 2018 EX or above Accord. Um, the way we're going to do that is by using a USB flash drive to load a custom home screen file that will just add an icon of the browser to your home screen and I'll just walk you through the steps on it and you don't need a big flash drive at all the file is less than like a megabyte because um, it's just a home screen configuration file it's not the actual browser itself the browser's already installed in your system um, this should work with any Honda Accord 10th generation radio as long as you have a tr an EX trim level or above I have a hybrid touring version um, and it should theoretically also work with the even the 2021 and 2022 uh, minor refresh models um, where because all they should have changed really as far as I could tell is adding wireless CarPlay um, to the radio. Uh, I'm not sure, I can't promise if they've made any other changes that may stop this from working, but if you have a newer Accord that has that feature, feel free to try this and let me know in the comments if it works for you or not. I'm thinking it should, but I can't make any promises 100% that it should. But yeah, let's start this with this right now. So all I have to do is plug in this flash drive into the USB port. I'll leave a link in the description down below of where you can find the file. Um, it will bring you to an XDA developers forum of people who have been trying to figure out how to do the, this Honda hack thing for a while because it was uh, to try and mimic what was what you could be able to do if you had like a 10th generation Honda Civic with the older 7 inch radio um, That was running an older version of Android uh, This is running a slightly newer version of Android uh, Android 6.0 whereas the other one was Android 4.2 or 3 or something like that um, But this is basically as close we're gonna get right now so this may actually lead us uh, lead the community into finding another exploit. Um, so yeah, once that's plugged in, the next step is to uh, hold down the home button, the volume knob button, so like pushing in the volume knob, and the source button all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, but I'm going to have to put down the camera so I can do it, because you need both hands to do it because of how spread out the buttons are. So I'm just going to put the right in the steering wheel. It's probably not going to be in focus very well because of all the glare. But it should be able to get the whole thing in frame, hopefully. Alright. So yeah, home button, volume button, and the source button. just made a beep and then a screen just showed up after about five or ten seconds uh, there's two options self-diagnosis mode or detail information and setting um, we should select the second option and then functional setup which is the second option from the bottom left And then after this, um, save user's memory is the one we should select. And then press the import button. And then press yes. And then don't make sure you don't turn off the radio or the car while you're doing this, just like as if your computer was doing a Windows update. Looks like it's about to reboot.
Unfortunately, my flash drive doesn't really have any sort of activity lights on it, so I can't really go off whether it's, it was actually doing anything. Looks <clears throat> so like we should be able to press OK on this. And this is good, so <laughs> it actually did import it. So, yeah, that's the only downside is that the... Uh, It defaults to Japanese or, or Chinese or something. But now we have an HDMI option? That's interesting. We also have a package installer option. And here we go. This is the built-in web browser. Um, so th this is... This is because I don't have it paired to my Wi-Fi. I'm parked too far away from my house to be able to see my home Wi-Fi network. So what I'm going to do now is pause the recording and then turn on my phone hotspot to pair my radio to my phone hotspot. And so I can just give you a demo of how it's supposed to work. Alright, so I got my smartphone paired over the Wi-Fi hotspot. And... Uh, This is what it basically looks like. <clears throat> I've been screwing around with it for a few minutes to see what um, the what I can do, and it's it's very slow, and I'm not entirely sure if it's just the radio or the speed of my hotspot. I have full bars of of LTE. Not sure if this will focus, but. But um. So that's not really the issue itself, um, or at least it shouldn't be. Touch targets are also kind of small, so it's easy to fat finger and mis misclick. But YouTube is kind of hit or miss. Netflix doesn't work at all. You can sign into Netflix, but it doesn't actually let you play anything. Um, it just says error name not resolved in the basic Android web view web view um, style error message the keyboard's very responsive though The screen on this is very good. I did find out this is a 1080p screen, um, and the way I found that out wasn't because 1080p is the maximum YouTube you can support over a web browser, but actually, if you look in the Honda Accord manual and you go to the section of how to set a custom wallpaper, um, it tells you to use a wallpaper with the resolution of 1920 by 936 I think, uh, and the reason why it's not 1920 by 1080 or that they, that's the resolution they mentioned, is that this section still shows up um, when you in the wallpaper mode. Um, so that is that is why. So you can continue showing the status bar icons. Uh, but the screen looks very nice. It's really just kind of laggy, I think, because of my hotspot. So if you connect it to your, to like your home or work Wi-Fi, it should be a little bit better. But it's also it's still a little quirky. Oddly enough, there's no audio for the advertisements, but uh, when you skip the ad. <laughs> it actually works when you go to play the actual video. And then you can full screen it, and it will actually full screen and get rid of the status bar at the top. And it honestly looks pretty good. 
it does end up buffering a little bit, but I think that's more related to my internet connection than it is the actual head unit itself. Because um, you can see when I got the status this bar showing, it doesn't it's not preloading much of the video. So that's why. But it plays back really smoothly. This is a 30 FPS video. And it's kind of switching between like 360p and 480p, like I said, probably because of my internet connection. Um, I do have dark mode enabled on the YouTube site, so if I set it, if I force it into 480p, it should, it, it'll probably be good. This honestly does look really good, and it's honestly would be my preferred way to play videos so if I'm like just sitting around waiting for someone to like go go inside and get food at a restaurant or something like that or like you're waiting for your kids or something like that if you're a parent um, because when you go, when you play YouTube videos off of your phone or your tablet that's paired through Bluetooth or through the Android Auto inter interface um, there is like a half a second delay in the audio which kind of makes it pretty annoying to watch anything, but it's fine for music. Um, but yeah, when, when it comes to like watching video or Netflix on your phone with the system in your car, um, it's not ideal because of that. So yeah, um, with all that said, that'll be it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section down below, and I'll be glad to help you guys out as best as I can. And let me know if you guys have any issues, if you have a newer model Accord that has the wireless CarPlay and the radio. Because um, like I said, I don't know if they changed anything else beyond that in the newer revisions of this radio. But this is, but yeah, like I said for earlier, for reference, this is a 2020 Accord Hybrid Touring. So, meaning that it also has the built-in Garmin GPS in it. Um, but yeah, thanks, for, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.